Hello friends, we are solving the next question of the HackerRank linked list module. In this, we have to compare the two linked lists. And uh, in this, let's uh, take the example given. The first linked list contains 1, 2, 3 and, one, two, three, and the last node is 3. The second linked list contains 1, 2, 3, 4 and the linked list are not same. So let's take a P and the Q pointer at the first node of the both of the linked list. If the data value of these two are same, just advance this P and Q. If the data values are same, then again advance this P and Q. If the data values are same, then about again advance this P and Q. So Q remains at the four node, but P becomes null. So if P becomes null and Q is not null, Q is the valid node, the linked list are not same. Let's take another example to understand this. One, the first linked list is one, two, three. Another linked list is one, four, three. In that case, if I have P here and Q here, the data values are same, so I will increment this P and Q to the next node. And then these two data values are not same. So if we are in a loop, we will break. And if I am breaking up, P and Q both points to the valid nodes, hence the linked list are not same. Let's take another example of 1, 2, 3 and the 1, 2, 3 linked list. If I say that P and Q are at the first node, these two data values are same. So advance this P and Q to the next node. 2 and 2 are also same, advance this P and Q to the next node. These two data values are also same. So those then advance this P and Q. P will become null and Q will also become null. Since these both of these two are null, it means that this indicates that the linked list are same. So only way or only condition that the linked list are same will be that P is null and Q is null. So let's write this code here. Here I say that the address of the linked list which is given as head1 and head2 I'll take these two pointers P and Q P takes the address of head1 and Q takes the address of head2 now by the time P is not null and Q is not equal to null I'll check the information data of these two linked lists. If p.data is same as the q.data, then I'll increment the two. p is equals to p.next and q is equals to q.next. But if the two are not same, in that case, I'll simply break if I'm coming out of this loop and if P is null and Q is null, it means both are simultaneously null, then only the linked list will be same. Otherwise, the linked list will not be same. So we can take the sample test cases where it is said that zero indicates that uh, the linked lists are same and one indicates that, uh, sorry, zero indicates that the linked lists are not same and one indicates that the linked lists are same. You can see here, compare two linked list and return one if the linked lists are equal and return zero if they are not equal. So here the comparison is returning this bool. Hence, I can return true or false. So if P is null and Q is null, I'll return this true. Otherwise, I will return this false. This is not accepting because we are not writing the return statement. So return true and return false. You can see that the sample test cases have got passed. And all other test cases have also got passed. So thanks for watching this video. We'll meet again with the next problem on the linked list.